Hello, good morning. So today I thought that I would do a vlog. I wanted to do a vlog today because I don't know, I just don't have a video to go up tonight. So hopefully this video will go up the day that you're actually watching this. Um, I didn't have a video to go up. I have got a couple of sponsored videos to film, but they have to be sent off to them to check it and then I can post it. So I don't, you know, I'll be filming those today, but I can't actually post them today. I have my little box of like YouTube stuff. So like people that have sent me stuff to do videos on, I've got a box because it's just, I just forget. I am actually doing and filming a sponsored TikTok video today using this sponge here. They sent me it and it's like got loads of different angles on it. Obviously I've used it, I do need to wash it, but it's actually really good. Like I've got my two sponges here. I've got my Real Technique sponge and then this one, which is from In Stylish. So this is what the brand's called and they said that they'd pay me to do a TikTok video just using that and I will be using the different angles for like different things on my face, so like concealer, sculpting my brows, contouring, all that kind of thing. And I tried it and it expands really well. Like when you add water to it, it actually does expand and I really, really like it. So I'm really happy with that because obviously I don't wanna do like sponsored videos if I don't like the product, but I do really like it. And I've actually been using this more than my Real Techniques one, so. Oh my god, I dropped it. Yeah, I've got to film that today, but I'm gonna go make myself a coffee now. It's quite late actually, it's like half past 10. Usually I do get up a bit earlier than this, but Fridays are my days off uni. I don't have anything on a Friday, so I am going to go make myself a coffee. My friend Jordana makes these really cute little turtles. I bought one of them off her. It looks so cute. Jamie's got one as well. I don't know exactly where he's put it, but yeah, look how cute that is. Okay, it's a little bit of a mess. I've got some tidying up to do, but I think we'll get there. so I might look a little bit different now. Jamie's just gone to work. I've just had a shower. Sorry, I just looked out the window. I just had a shower, did my skincare. As you can probably see, I still use Body Shop products, of course. I do really love them, despite not selling products for the Body Shop anymore. But I'm gonna be doing some tidying up this morning. Like, I honestly have got so much to do. When I say that, there's not that much in the kitchen. Like, I've got rubbish to put away, I've got washing up to do, and stuff like that. But then upstairs, oh my God. Like, I can't even show you, it's that bad. Like, I need to hoover the floor, but to hoover the floor, I need to tidy everything away. There's so much washing to do, but it doesn't dry very quickly in this room. So I have to wait for it to dry, then do some more and it just piles up. Go upstairs, tidy it all up, hoover it all up, and then have lunch. I've made myself a to-do list today and I'll show you that in a little bit. Like I literally plan my whole day out and schedule it all. I'm using a little notepad that Emma got me for my birthday. Thank you, Emma. Also, she did also get me something that is here finders keepers this is where we keep our keys and stuff and my rings so i keep my rings on there and we keep our keys why is it not focusing okay it's focusing now it was on manual focus instead of autofocus but yeah she got me this little dish and yeah i'm literally just keeping my rings on it and then we put some keys on there sometimes so yeah that's really cute thank you emma i'm gonna tidy up now so yeah maybe i can have a little chat with you whilst i'm doing this without breaking anything that's on this shelf there we go. So I am going to do a little bit of washing up. So I'm just going to start that going. Basically, today is Friday. I have Fridays off uni, thank God. So that means I have Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays off. And that means that I do have time for filming. I also have time for uni work and stuff. And I'm going to really try and keep on top of the work this semester because I want to, but I do have a lot going on. I also, and haven't mentioned this on my channel yet, but I am gonna do like a whole video explaining it. But just briefly, I am 
kind of creating my own little range of skincare and I wanted I genuinely have wanted to do that for ages like my auntie used to do that and since she was doing it like years and years and years ago I always thought oh this is so cool like I would love to do that but in my head like I never thought that I could do that because I thought well why would I but now I'm gonna um and the reason that nearly went badly <laughs> not good but the reason why I wanted to do it is because I love skincare so much now like since doing the body shop and selling products for them like obviously I've stopped now but since doing that like I literally just had like such a love for like skincare and stuff because I know noticed how much of a difference it makes I've always loved skincare because I had acne in the past so it's meant that I've had to think about it skincare a lot more and stuff and it is obviously important to think about your skin and there is also a lot of products I have had the question raised about makeup and me wearing makeup and like why would I be promoting like fresh skin and good skincare when I wear a lot of makeup but to me I like to keep both of those separate like skincare and makeup are separate things I you know a lot of skincare products are there to remove the makeup that you put on so they you know that's what I want to do. I want to create products that anyone can use, whether you wear loads of makeup or you don't. And my first product is actually a makeup remover, which is really good for... My second product, I think, is going to be a makeup remover, which is really good for removing lots of makeup. So, there we go. But I'm going to try my hardest. It is a lot of effort, but it's something that I enjoy doing, so I'm going to put a lot of time into it. I am just hiding things away. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just really want to do something i might not make um much money but it's a hobby and you will never know until you try so i'm just gonna try i've got lots to do today so we'll see how that goes um and i'll keep you updated on it on this channel i'm just washing up <laughs> fun I have like a proper system when it comes to washing up like I literally like wash up like in a specific order of things right so I'm gonna wash up now and then I'll get back to you This morning, hello, back again. Um, this morning for breakfast I had a crumpet and I don't usually have crumpets. I also had it with Marmite and I used to hate Marmite. I'm one of those people that actually doesn't love it or hate it, like I'm in the middle. And if in, I, like, I want to like it because I like the smell of it and I like the tiny taste of it. But for me, it's the aftertaste. It's just a bit, a little, like just a bit funny basically. But I did have some of that. Oh, I'm just about to put this in front of the camera. How how skillful am I? Well, that's my cue to say, see you when I've finished. Hi there, I've got you balanced on Jamie's protein powder. I also just wanted to update you on fitness, health and fitness. So I've been doing a half an hour workout every single day and it's a half an hour hit work, well, 15 minute HIIT workout, 15 minute toning. So HIIT workout stands for high intensity interval training. I'm gonna do a whole video on it because I've actually lost a lot of weight and toned up. Well, I actually don't know if I've lost weight, but I know that I've toned up and I look a bit thinner. I, I just know myself, but I don't like to weigh myself because it can be quite off-putting. But I've been, this is day 26, I think, that I will have done it in a row. And when you make something a habit, you really don't want to get out of it. Like, I used to be like, oh, I don't want to work out. But now I'm thinking, oh, I need to do my workout because I don't want to not do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, instead of thinking, oh, I can't be bothered to do it, I'm thinking I can't not do it. So that's good. But obviously, I'm, I'm telling myself, like, I'm not going to have a break unless I'm ill or really tired. So you can't just say, I deserve a break out of nowhere. Y you know, your body, if you're only doing half an hour's worth of exercise a day like me, like, obviously, if you train really hard, then fair enough. But for me, it's not that much exercise. Like, it is, it's really intense at the time, but it's still not, like all through the day intense do you know what i mean so i'm just gonna stick to that i'm only gonna have breaks when i'm really ill and when i'm really struggling if i don't manage to do a workout through the day i'm gonna do it at night there's no excuses basically i think like the night right i was doing a workout and it was 1 30 a.m yes um 
I'd already I had a few alcoholic beverages as well, just a few, and um, I knew I was going to be awake for quite a few hours, so I was like, might as well do a workout. Might as well do a workout. that is the kitchen tidy my favorite room to tidy and clean is the kitchen i just find it so satisfying and so easy this is probably my favorite room of the house the bathroom's pretty clean the bathroom's fine at the minute and um, but the upstairs is not pretty so i might show you the finished result but i'm not going to show you a before <laughs> that is not happening so i recently bought this hoodie so this is from Primark and I literally was in Primark with my friend Emma and I saw it and I am addicted to oversized hoodies like I actually am so yeah I got this and it's really comfy I just love like really big hoodies I don't know why just for around the house just to be comfy in so I got this and I love it it was literally just £10 okay, so uh, this is my to-do list that I've written for today now as you can probably tell I like to do everything in times in like specific times so I thought I'd show you this in this video instead of like doing a whole video video on it I might do a whole organization video but I'm just going to include this in here so today is Friday the 24th of January 2020 you know just in case we got confused about the year there so yeah shower and get dressed already done that so that was 12 o'clock yeah I did get up a little bit late lol and then now I'm tidying and hoovering upstairs in the bedroom so hoovering the stairs and the bedroom and that's at half 12 when actually um now it's like one but anyway lunch at 1 15 I'm gonna have lunch basically whenever I finish I've got to film my tiktok video it's a sponsored video so I need to get that filmed and sent to them I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes because I really do need to be washed edit today's video so edit this video i'm filming right now and upload it i need to buy my packaging for my skincare product that i'm bringing out first so for my first product and i want to design and look at labels for that and i've put in brackets snack so this is when i'm going to have a snack so i might have a smoothie or some strawberries or something um website designing i really want a website like i want to make a website to you know talk about my products on it and to have my products on there so i'm going to look into that today workout at 5 30 ish just fit that in whenever i have time basically um have my tea at seven i like to kind of have that at you know that kind of time and i do want it to be quite healthy because i wasn't the best yesterday with eating um and then these are just things that i want to fit in this evening that i haven't exactly specifically time planned them for so uni work um planning youtube videos that i need to film for tomorrow that's going to go up next week and planning my february youtube videos because i like to plan all of my videos so i do like a good old plan i'm very much into organization i've got anna's book and edited life um if you don't know her her youtube channel is the anna edit and i literally i'm obsessed with her videos she's very organized she makes me feel really organized watching her videos so i thought oh i'll ask this for my birthday so my mom got me this for my birthday it's called an edited life i'll just give you sort of an idea of the chapters this is definitely going to go in my january favorites so you'll see it in there if you watch that but basically she does stuff on like life stuff so it comes to sorting your diary out money that was a really good chapter for me um self-care social life work how to organize your day how to get tasks done how to streamline your home how to make a capsule wardrobe like literally just so much stuff so this book is tailored to me like it really is but yeah i love that book i just thought i'd mention that but anyway i must crack on i've just hoovered the stairs and as you can see the hoover's still there but i am going to be hoovering upstairs so yeah just on the stairs i literally just have that end because it sucks it up better than terrible um so yeah i'm gonna make my lunch now it's like quarter to two and i'm gonna do my lunch so i have got 75 grams of pasta in this little pan and i'm just gonna get that to boil and then i will turn it down a little bit and let it simmer but yeah 75 grams of pasta and then i've got some yellow pepper some cucumber and i'm gonna chop up a little bit of onion and then i've got my pasta sauce which is in here the pasta sauce is actually this one here um from lidl just a smooth tomato pasta sauce that's why i'm adding in the vegetables and i might add this in but i'm not sure I can't think. I'll probably give that a miss actually. 
Well, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll put it in. And I've got some garlic as well. I'm gonna put some garlic in. So I'm just gonna chop these up now. Right, sorry about the noise of the washing machine. I'm doing some washing. I've just finished making my lunch. Pasta, all the vegetables that I listed, and I did actually put that, um, what's it called, Dairy Triangle in just, just for banter, really. Um, so yeah, that's my lunch, and I'm gonna go and eat that now. Right, I thought that I would do my hair and I would show you the products that I use in it on a, like, not a daily basis, but on a basis of washing my hair. So, First of all, I am going to try and find a place to put you. Let's call it here. And I'm gonna, first of all, brush my hair. Oh yeah, by the way, I've just been watching Netflix. I have my lunch. I watched like an hours of, hour of Netflix. And now I've come down to film my TikTok video whilst there's still light outside. And then I'm going to finish up hoovering upstairs. And then I'll probably edit this video. So this is literally just like a random spend the day in my flat with me video. Okay, so I use this oil. I actually got this in one of my glossy boxes. It's from the brand Hask, H-A-S, okay. Um, and it's a coconut oil, nourishing shine oil. Now I love using oils in my hair. I went through a couple of years without using any because I just thought, well, what's the point? Like, it will probably make my hair greasy, but actually, your hair gets greasy from the roots, so if you're applying oil kind of just over the hair, so not into the roots, but like over the hair, then that's absolutely fine. Like, that does not make your hair greasy. That was just in my head. So, yeah, nice and shiny. So it just makes your hair super, super soft and excellent for like straightening it and stuff like that. I don't know whether I'm gonna straighten my hair or not. I think I might leave it. I don't think I'm gonna blow dry it because it's kind of naturally dried itself. So I don't think I will. Um, but what I always do is I like to pop through some of my Tresemme heat protect. So this is the care and protect one. I ordered one of these off Amazon and three came so I was like okay didn't realize I was buying three but that's good so I'm basically stocked up for life and then also I put through some of my Fuji green tea from the body shop spray this is one of my favorite sprays it smells amazing so I'm just gonna put a couple of sprays of that in my hair just because your hair retains the scent quite well um, and then I'm gonna get my hairbrush and just brush all of that in together and that is that i don't think i'll blow dry my hair i think i'll actually leave it and put my little head bun back in and then film my tiktok video yeah sounds like a plan my skin's looking quite um dewy because i've obviously had my skincare on for a while but that gets fixed with makeup so yeah let's go and film the video so i'm gonna film my tiktok video in a minute but basically i'm just gonna be filming that video where i show the sponge applying my base so in terms of like eyeshadow and stuff like that i won't be filming that even though i might film a different tiktok doing doing my eyeshadow i might do that just because i really love this primer from the body shop obviously i'm not selling products for the body shop anymore but it is really nice it's the um vitamin c skin reviver and it's looking nice it looks quite cozy in here doesn't it oh a little dean bless him my uh hamster i might have to turn that light off there because it's kind of giving a little bit of glare yeah that's better i thought i best film this whilst there's still some light oh my god the light on my camera looks amazing but the light on my phone looks terrible hello don't you just love it when people walk past and they're just like and i'm just like it's crazy the difference in quality between my phone and this camera crazy right okay i'm really sat in a really awkward position but i might take these off just you know look a little bit more profesh oh actually i might tie my hair up <laughs> okay that's not bad i always do my hair like this just chuck it up and hope for the best that's all we can do really 
Okay, all right. I don't know where to start. It's really hard. Okay, behind the scenes of Georgie trying to film a sponsored video. Because if it wasn't sponsored, I'd be fine. It's just, it is. Okay, so. Right, here we are. I should probably get my foundation ready. I'm going to use a bit more of a full coverage foundation. I think I'm going to do a foundation review video soon as well. This vlog's going to be really long and really chatty of me. Just waffling on. Right. I'm going to film it now. Probably time lapse it a little bit for you. Oh, and if you want to go and watch the finished result, by all means, go onto my TikTok. God knows what I'm called. I have no idea. I don't know how I managed to get paid for TikTok videos anyway, because I do. I have done videos in the past where I've been paid for them. Don't know how that started, because I don't even make TikTok videos. I think they. I got paid to make an account and post videos, um, and then I stopped. And then somebody messaged me, and I was like, "Gosh, oh, probably start again then." Okay, right. Okay, I might have to get back with you a little bit later on because you're off-putting me. Hello, so I have just finished filming my sponsored TikTok video. I'm just gonna tidy my stuff away. Um, it actually was quite good to be fair, I had a good time. I always enjoy doing my makeup, so doing a video for somebody is not hard for me to do. It's just hard for me to get prepared because I want to get it right. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna tidy all my makeup away and then I'm gonna get on with the rest of my to-do list. Um, I always make a to-do list and I used to stick by my to-do list like a few years ago. It's the absolute like dot. Like I used to be really, I used to be really, really good with them. Um, but then it would kind of affect me in a way that if somebody kind of planned something or something got in the way, it would really bother me and annoy me or just not annoy, not annoy me but it would make me feel like oh my god like my schedule i can't get this done that, that's the time that i plan to do that so now i just sort of write everything down if it doesn't get done it goes over to tomorrow or if um or if it's in a different order then it's in a different order um but i do like to kind of stick to a schedule because it does make me feel a little bit better about things got my sponge that is definitely a very good sponge i do really like that sponge um yeah i actually filmed two tiktok videos i filmed the doing my base of makeup using the sponge and then i filmed the eyeshadow look here using a morphe palette it's like a green base with a warm toned brown kind of smoking it out um yeah so i'm happy with my makeup today i don't actually do as much makeup as i used to do um sorry i don't actually do my makeup as much as i used to do i used to do my makeup every single day because i used to take loads of instagram pictures and stuff and i just used to really enjoy it i do enjoy it now but lack of time like i literally struggle for time these days so some days i'll go without it i'd say i wear makeup like four times a week maybe five if i'm at uni like a lot but yeah probably four times a week unless i've got something going on um so yeah i just really enjoy it um but yeah so i think i'm gonna end this video here i don't think i've got anything more to say per se um apart from the fact that obviously at the minute in life i'm quite busy i'm busy with my youtube i yeah, I'm going to update you on that. I aimed to film at the start of January to film three videos a week. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to get as much content out as possible just to get me back in the swing of things. And if I do take it down to two videos a week, then that's what happens. I managed to do that so far. We're not quite done January yet, but we nearly are. Um, so I managed to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m., three days a week. I think I missed one day and i don't exactly know why that was but yeah i did miss one day but i think that's absolutely fine to miss one day and then i um i'm gonna start planning videos for february so i think i'm gonna stick to three videos a week still and um, the reason is is because i just have so many ideas and so many videos i want to film there's a lot of videos that i know people want to see but there's also a lot of videos that i want to film and that i enjoy filming some videos i do don't get that many views but i like filming them and it makes me feel like I don't know i just want to post some videos so um sometimes it's not for, like i don't post for views i post because it's my hobby um so 
there we go um also when it comes to uni i have got a lot of work to catch up on this week in terms of i'm gonna keep on it with lecture notes i'm gonna recap over my lecture notes i'm gonna do my seminar questions in preparation for the seminar and yeah i think i'm gonna stick to it quite well as long as i keep on top of things i should be okay with like, attendance and everything like that um skincare stuff today i'm gonna be ordering the packaging and i am gonna be looking at labels and maybe designing the website i say designing the website looking into the website um side of things but that is something i'm a little bit like skeptical about um but we will see so i am going to be very busy um because i've got to tidy up as well make food do a workout i am a busy bee but if i wasn't busy i wouldn't be able to sleep at night because i wouldn't be tired enough so i need to keep myself busy so that i can actually sleep at night but yeah overall i'm really happy started the year really positive so far january has been a hundred times better than the entire um, year of 2019 i don't think that was quite my year but this year has been a lot better and i think it's because i'm forcing myself a little bit more into things i'm pushing myself into like workouts eating healthier pushing myself into things i've not done before and just saying just try georgie like with this whole skincare thing like a lot of people would give up and they'd think oh it's too much effort i'm just gonna push myself into it because i do actually enjoy stuff like that so this year is a year of really sorting myself out and i know everybody says that but i genuinely mean it because i'm 20 now coming into my 20s i don't want to be you know i don't want to be you know waiting for one day i'm sure something will come to me like you have to go out there and make things happen yourself and i'm gonna do that you know don't push yourself too far but push yourself in your limits and you can't go wrong so after all that rambling and all that talking i am going to leave you there hopefully you enjoyed this little chatty vlog i will include probably one of these vlogs a month i'll probably do like a random chatty at home vlog and i do also want to do a day in the life of me at uni um i want to do that video next week and i want to do one of those every month as well so you're going to have a few vlogs a month not too many but a few um so for those of you that likes vlogs I'm here for you um but yeah so i'm gonna edit this in a minute and then i'm gonna try and get it up 5 p.m fingers crossed um so yeah i will see you in my next video please give this one a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and i will see you in my next video goodbye okay sorry for being weird